Yo, what's up guys? So, my buddies finally bullied me into seeing what's wrong with my 240. And I lifted it up. Mariah is in here, big chilling in the Aristo, because it's cold. It's all lifted up. I lifted it up as high as I could on the jack stands. Running, seeing what's wrong with this. The diff looks like it spins both wheels. We're about to put it in gear and see what happens. got the drive shaft out and I got to take a look at everything and at first I didn't notice anything wrong the splines in the drive shaft looked uh, looked okay I thought maybe I stripped it out or something I wasn't sure I guess I actually broke the entire output shaft out of the transmission which it's like one big shaft that goes through from the front to the back of the transmission and it never has a break in it unless it's mine and so it snapped off and you can actually look into it and see the back of the shifter you can see right here i bet i broke six inches of it off normally it would come out and poke out to about here but you can see obviously it doesn't completely broke like you can literally see my shifter hold on i'm trying to light it up for you guys Hey guys, it's day two of this project of uh, pulling the trans, <clears throat> excuse me. It's day two of me uh, pulling the transmission out of the 240. Yesterday we found what was wrong with it this whole time. And then today we're gonna pull it out and hopefully in the next couple days I can find a new trans to put it in, put in it. This is where we're at right now. I took the drive shaft out we saw that the transmission was broke we broke the output shaft on it and it shouldn't be too bad to get this thing out i actually just remembered my rear main has been leaking too so i might as well just take the clutch off and i'll do that too while i'm at it so hopefully i can get another transmission i might have a transmission today so if i get a new transmission today i might be putting it in tomorrow so we might have this thing running and driving tomorrow
I got the transmission out. I had to fight it a little bit. I know you guys saw me uh, struggling. I ended up having to flip it sideways. I had to like pre-drain the fluid out a little bit, loosen up my motor mounts. I should have dropped my subframe, but I was being stubborn. I didn't want to do it and I fucked up my firewall instead. But this is it right here. It's out. Hold on. Let me show you guys, I guess like what I actually broke. I don't know if you guys could see it very well in that last video. So here you can see, you see where it ends right there? It's not supposed to end right there where it does. It's supposed to come all the way out here to the actual rear shaft. So you can see it stops like right here. It should come all the way out. And you know, obviously it doesn't, you can see it, I guess better from right here. You can see it snapped off. So I found the rest of it and I didn't even realize it at the time, but it's right here. It's just stuck in the shaft. So I gotta try to get this out now. <laughs> So I'll get that out and then I'll give you guys an update. Here you can see the transmission's out. You can see my rear main has been leaking. It's pretty dirty under here. But we're gonna pull this clutch off here in a minute. revved it up dumped the clutch and then next thing i know every gear is neutral but uh i'll keep you guys posted hopefully we can get a new transmission in this thing we might be moving soon so i'd like to get this thing driving again before we move so i can just drive it over there i would love to just drive it over there instead of having to put this on a trailer you guys can see this thing is not fun to put on trailers and it probably wouldn't fit on my two car trailer. I don't think the Aristo will fit either, but I'll have to figure out something with the Aristo. I don't know if I showed you guys. We have the whole motor assembled for this guy and I got the coil packs in, new spark plugs, all that. Like this thing is ready to go in right now. I do still need to replace the rear main seal and we still have this um, flex plate on. I need to put the flywheel on and clutch set up, but no big deal. I need to reroute this, which I have the new piece. I may need to get new hoses and I need a block off plate for my oil level sensor. I might need to get different motor mounts to fit this motor into the Aristo. If any of you guys know, um, if I do need to swap motor mounts, you guys should let me know. I think that maybe the 2JZs usually use like wider motor mounts. I think the Aristo subframe is wider. I'm not sure because I have um, Toyota Soar mounts on this 1J. I'm not sure what the differences are and stuff like that. From what I understand, 1J motor mounts are taller than 2JZ motor mounts. I don't know. If somebody could clear that up for me, I'd appreciate it. But I'll catch you guys later. Mm hmm.